second take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. There are growing indications that many countries will seek to integrate clean energy into their post-COVID-19 recovery plans. To discuss what this means for the energy transition globally and in South Africa is Terence Creamer. Hi Terence. Hi Chanel. What are some governments and international agencies saying about using green energy in the economic recovery efforts? Well, around the world, governments are now turning to planning their stimulus interventions as a part of a recovery from the COVID-19 crisis, which has uh, led to recessions in most countries and the threat of depression in many. And uh, many governments are now looking at uh, a green stimulus as part of not only recovering from the crisis, creating jobs, getting industry going again, but also to put their economies on more sustainable pathways and to deal with what is probably the next existential crisis of, after the pandemic, which is climate change. So we've seen uh, uh, the, the European Union, for instance, announcing a big stimulus plan. And within that plan, there's a big uh, renewable energy and green stimulus. And we've got the International Energy Agency and the uh, International Renewable Energy Agency urging policymakers to really make an effort to ensure that the pathway and the energy pathway that we adopt as, uh, and support as part of these stimulus efforts is green. What are some of the threats to this proposal? Well, I think the major threat has been the big decline in fossil fuel, fossil fuel prices over this period, which obviously makes it cheaper uh, and easier to continue on the fossil fuel uh, technologies or with the fossil fuel technologies that we use, such as coal-fired power stations and internal combustion engines. But there are indications that many governments are not going to allow a retreat back into those uh, as part of their stimulus efforts. We have seen a rise in approval of new coal-fired power stations in Asia, particularly in China. But there's a, there's a growing call around the world to try and not reinforce those uh, dirty pathways and to try and reset uh, on a more clean and green pathway. What is the position in South Africa? Well, in South Africa, we're still uh, in the early stages of crafting our stimulus plans. We know that we already have the 500 billion grand package, which doesn't really deal with green energy or, uh, or, or, the, or the clean energy transition. Uh, it really is about help, helping companies in distress navigate this period as well as individuals in distress. And we will get an update on what that means uh, when uh, Finance Minister Tito Mbo when it delivers the adjustment budget on the 24th of June. But we're going to need stimulus beyond that. And uh, there's a lot of discussion around orthodox and unorthodox stimulus measures. And there's a definite push in South Africa to say that we have a plan in the form of the integrated resource plan. If we accelerate that plan, it provides a, an immediate stimulus for the South African economy. It creates jobs, it creates industrial activity, creates construction sites. So, so that would be an immediate uh, uh, uptick. But if we slightly accelerate that plan and enlarge it from the current views that we've been starting about a thousand uh, megawatts of solar a year and 1,600 megawatts of wind a year from about 2022. And if we slightly expand that, uh, we could actually have a far larger stimulus. And most of this, or if not all of it, will be funded outside of the government balance sheet, which is very important given South Africa's fiscal constraints. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily email newsletter.